Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I just wanted to take you around with me as I water my house plants. Typically what I do is I water them once a week, give or take. So I will mark on my calendar the day that I watered them. And the last time I watered them was last Wednesday. Today it is Saturday, so it has been over a week, um, but I just keep track of it so that I'm not over watering my plants. And I try to water as many as possible to keep most of them on the same schedule. And that works out great for a majority of my house plants but there are a few plants that are more finicky and I will check on them throughout the week. But honestly, I would not be able to do that with every individual plant. I wouldn't have the time or patience to check on them constantly. So it really does help me to have them on a similar schedule for the most part, just so that I can do it all in one day and then just mark that on my calendar. So if you're interested in learning about how I water my house plants, um, just keep on watching and we're gonna get into it. So typically what I do is I will look at the plant and I will kind of look at the soil and I can tell that these Hoyas are pretty dry just based on the way that the soil looks and it really does take time to like get familiar with your plants and how they behave in the pot that they're in. But I can tell based on the soil that it's more of like a sandy color and it doesn't look wet at all. But I don't just look at the physical like look of the soil. I also like to stick my finger in the soil to see if I feel any moisture. And with Hoyas, they like to dry out completely for the most part. It of course does depend on the type of Hoya that you're dealing with. And I also did recently purchase a moisture meter. That's what it looks like up close. I got this from Amazon. And the reason I purchased this is because for those really deep pots where your finger can't go that deep, um, I like to use this. And I do sometimes experiment and use it with my smaller pots as well. But this has worked really well. I've had it for like a week or two. But I really do like it for those really huge pots where I can't feel like really deep into the pot. So I do use this as well. But mostly I like to stick to my finger and I've done this for like a few years, I've used my finger as a, like a moisture meter. <laughs> it's nature's moisture meter. So what I'll do is I'll just go around through the plants, stick my finger in the pot. If it's completely bone dry, then I will water it thoroughly. And you want to make sure that you're evenly moistening the soil and um, you wanna make sure that water runs out of your drainage hole. It's really important to have drainage because all right, first of all, I didn't stick my finger in this guy because I haven't watered him for over a week. I know he definitely needs water. Um, but you always want to make sure that you have a drainage hole because if you don't, water will sit most likely at the bottom of your pot and collect and then the roots could be sitting in still water and that would cause root rot potentially. So it's definitely important to always have a drainage hole in your pot. I always tell people that. And if you have a lot of pots that don't have drainage, I, do, I did make a video on how you can create your own drainage hole. And I'll link that in the description and in the top right corner. So I just wanted to mention that oftentimes when you have a drainage hole in your pot, water will collect in the saucer or the plate that your pot is sitting on. So just make sure you pour away that extra water to prevent any root rot that could take place if your plant is sitting in still water. So I just quickly wanted to show you how I use my moisture meter. This is my Thai Constellation Monstera and I do let it dry out completely before I water it uh, thoroughly. And what I usually do will check by sticking my finger two inches into the soil. And it did feel slightly moist, but I also wanted to double check with my moisture meter so I could see how moist the soil is farther down within the pot. And it looks like it is at about a level between three and four. So it is slightly moist, but it is almost at the dry stage. So I'm definitely gonna leave this plant for a few more days since it has not completely dried out yet. Every time I stick my moisture meter into a new plant, I rinse it off with water and dry it off because I don't want to spread any type of disease or pest that could possibly be in the soil. So you wanna make sure that you are cleaning it off in between using it on different plants. 
I also just wanted to mention that when it comes to watering your own host plants, it does depend on environmental factors such as how humid it is in your house, um, what time of year it is, whether it be winter, spring, or summer, or fall, and how much light the plant's receiving, what type of soil the plant is in, and type of pot. So it really is gonna vary based on many factors. So you need to adjust watering based on the environment that the plant is living in. The, the way that I water my plants definitely works for me in my environment, but you might have to adjust based on the environmental factors in your home. I really hope you found this video helpful. Um, if you have any comments, please leave them down below. I would love to answer any of your questions. As you can see, I got the dogs beside me. <laughs> Wanna say bye? So I hope you found um, the video helpful. You can also follow me on my Instagram for more daily updates. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. And so right there, I have a peduncle that's on my Hoya and I'm super nervous that the dogs are gonna try to eat it. So I might have to move this plant cause I don't trust them. Like they're always so curious about it. No, Coco, no, no, <laughs> don't, no, no, <laughs> no honey.